So SUVs seem to be dominating the used car market at the moment and a mid-size SUV even more so. Just a good size family car without driving a huge vehicle. Plenty of space in a five seater and a BMW X3 is a cracking example of that. And there's several reasons why this, this particular one will appeal to people. The first one for me is the color. So Brooklyn Grey, no matter what BMW we get that in is an instant seller. And this being a 23 plate with just under 9,000 miles and in the NEM Sport variant will be exactly the same. The Brooklyn Grey for me just really sets it off the similar pastel colors that are out there, similar palettes, and they sell the same. So the X-Drive gives it nice features from the front side and the interior. This particular one has some nice options on it when we get inside as well. So from the front, it's been very well looked after as you'd expect a car with just under 9,000 miles to be. You've got those LED headlights, BMW giving you those really bright LEDs, and this one's got the D-chromed accents bar in the grille, so accents to the front splitter, window surrounds, roof rails, etc., all gloss black, and they tie in very nicely with these 19-inch M Sport alloy wheels. So you've got a gloss black, diamond-turned chrome front, and these are a diamond-cut alloy, again, being kept in very good condition. Front and rear sensors, which you may see on the bumper, and this one also has a rear view camera. Gloss black accent again, just under the M Sport badge, roof rails, window surrounds, and this one has some protection glass as an option. The huge selling point on the mid-size SUVs for me is, it's a good family size car. I mean, I'm six foot two, so I can jump in the back of it and no problem. So if you do have children or it is a family vehicle, there's still plenty of space in the back of these. What you will have noticed when I got in is this has the oyster of Anaska leather. So just a really, for me, it's just a real difference and a real change. Instead of having a black car with black leather, you've got a nice light colored Brooklyn gray, then a light interior when you get in. USB points in the back as well. So for a family vehicle, if you need to charge those iPads, iPhones, etc., you can do that when you're going around. Extended LEDs, which can be controlled from that lovely iDrive system from the front. When you get to the back, that D-chrome feature it continues. So protection glass, tinted rear lights, so just giving it a little bit more of a stylish look. And then you've got a good boot space on these. And you'll also notice that rear view camera to the back as well. So this car would massively appeal to me. One, I've got a couple of kids, good boot space, but I know the missus and myself can drive this in and around towns without having to worry about trying to park in smaller parking spaces. It's a good height, good size. And then on the topic of height, when you go to get in it, it's not something you have to step into or step down to, it's just really easy to jump in. But the car's been very well looked after. I know concerns might be on a light interior, is, is it showing signs of wear and tear? And this one isn't. It's been very well looked after. A lot of people worry about like dye transfer, etc. when they're getting in, but this is very clean, very well looked after. Then you've got that lovely, nice display. This being one of the newer models, does have that face lifted interior. So if we start it up, got that huge digital dash, which will bring up the mileage. I think it's around about 8,700 miles. But again, on a 23 plate, you've got manufacturers warranty until 2026, so ultimate peace of mind with that. Nice clear digital display, and then you've got this huge touchscreen across the centre. That controls everything from navigation, media, any smartphone interface, etc. We do pop that into reverse, though. That's where you're going to get your rear view camera, and you've also got front and rear sensors. It does have park assist as well, should you need to use that. From here, you can also control your extended LED, so there's several different colours, sorry, which you can change that to and they're just dead straightforward and easy to use, so you might have a particular colour of choice, or the kids might, whatever it might be, and you can just vary that. Heated seats, so this Oyster Leather, and it is a quite a sporty seat on the M Sport, just a bit more support on there. They are heated. Plenty of space down here as well, USB chargers, cup holders, etc. So if you are travelling long journeys, then you've got all the tech that you would need to do that. But the massive selling point on this one is it's an X-Drive, 2 litre petrol of 180 brake horsepower, next to no miles, really with 8,000 miles on it, and you've got manufacturer's warranty still remaining until 2026. But it's just a cracking size car, so it's a fantastic buy for someone. It might be the main family car, it might be the second family car, but you don't have to drive a huge bus and you still get those SUV qualities. So if you are looking for a very stunning X3, then please contact myself, my name's Paddy, and I look forward to speaking to you.